welcome back to my channel so today um, I'm doing a vlog I actually wasn't gonna vlog today because I just was wasn't in the mood but considering that the spa kind of exceeded my expectations not exceeded but hold on I underestimated the spa let's say that and the locker room is empty right now so I figured that you know I come on I talk I show you so today I woke up I was in like calm mood I said let me go to the spa I've been dying to come to body by Brooklyn they've been doing a lot of promo on Instagram honestly I feel like their marketing is not so great but I wanted to give it a chance and I saw this girl um, she had a YouTube video I think it was a few years ago and I said you know what let me try it it's a good spa to try on my own solo day so I'm in the locker room now I'm sure. so this is one area where there's the water lounge I think that goes to the water lounge I haven't gone to any of the areas yet but <laughs> haven't gone but I'm still in the locker room this is the locker room they have the mirror area see this is this is where they lose me because I'm very specific about my are these glass bottles they are glass bottles but I don't know that color throws me off um, you go to this side there are lockers here go here more lockers here more sinks and this is where you came in right here I hear some people coming so let me hurry up so I took the train it was a hell of a commute honestly like a hell of a commute I had to take the 4 to 14th Street then take the L to Bedford then take I think the 69 bus 13 stops to Washington Avenue and Park Avenue and then it was like right there so um, I came in there was this girl with his attitude let me tell you let me tell you about this girl I walk in there's this girl um, at the front desk she's looks like she's checking out she's asking questions before she goes um, I saw a lady sitting behind like on a seat kind of like this and the lady she starts to leave so I walk around talk like that and I'm like okay you know oh shit somebody's coming home so I um so I walk around her so that she can leave and then I go to the front desk I'm like hi and the lady's like you're checking in I'm like yeah girl behind me goes um I was next so I'm like okay go ahead I'm sorry I didn't know I thought you were with her you got up as soon as she you know left as soon as she was getting ready to walk out she got up and it looked like they were talking to each other so I'm like oh I didn't know she's like yeah well I'm just letting you know I was like you need to relax and she's like don't tell me to relax like I'm like no you're at a spa I think you need to relax she's like don't tell me to relax like I don't understand why you like I will slap you so slap me like you're mad and mature if you slap me so the guy comes from the back and he goes oh I'll help you don't worry about it I'm like oh thank you so much um and I'm talking to him she's doing whatever she's doing and she's getting ready to leave and she's like it's always some black bitch it's always some ugly bitch some horse hoof in the face looking bitch and I just I realized that I need to grow up because I just let people round me up and I'm still at that age where I'm responding instead of just like I told her she's at the spa she needed to chill I was also at the spa so I needed to also chill so we're here I'm gonna let you know how the experience goes I'll probably insert some videos or you know this taking videos horizontal thing like it's it's because you know i take all my videos like this but we'll see i'll let you guys know oh i forgot i do have a massage schedule for four o'clock i came here super early i got here at two so i've been in the locker room gave me an opportunity to take pictures and stuff but i thought maybe i not the ghetto um it would give me an opportunity to take pictures maybe eat something before the massage or like walk around scope it out and then by the time I finish, it'll be time for my massage, so I'll let you know how it goes. Ciao. So I went through a separate entrance. This is the first thing that you see. This is the dry lounge. I have a few beds with candles, not real candles, LED lights. Back there is the bar, fireplace, or mock fireplace, another fireplace. I don't know if you can hear the girls just going ham. 
I think it was someone's birthday and they just were so excited to be there. So excited that they wanted to ruin everyone else's time. <laughs> um, but for the most part, it was meant to be a serene environment. Have a few tables and chairs if you want to sit down and eat there. Um, the bar was, I want to say the bar was fully stocked, but I don't really know what that would look like. <laughs> Had calamari and, and Thai chili for an appetizer and rosé before my massage. So this is me like walking to go get the massage. I didn't get much footage of the walk there. Here's the room. Small, you know, cute. They did what they could with the lighting. Um, oh, okay. I'm like, where are we? <laughs> so this is walking into the wet lounge. Those are the showers on the right, just the wall of showers. Really cute concept, I like it. Those are the two saunas in the back that I'll show you later. Um, that little metal that you see in the back is the cold water plunge. Right here is the one jacuzzi that they have. Um, they said, make it enough. So that's, that's what we had to do. A few chairs in the back where you can lay down. Um, it was empty for some reason. I was there earlier and it was just super packed, so I was like, I'll just leave. But, nice temperature, nice vibes in there. Ah, oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> I don't know, I can't be doing this. I hate, I hate how my voice sounds too, so like, all right, whatever, let's do this. Um, one of the sauna rooms, super hot for no reason. Now, okay, can I just say, I understand the concept of a sauna. It's supposed to be hot, supposed to be intoxicating. You're supposed to uh, release toxins from your body right through the pores and et cetera, et cetera. But bro, the way that the heat was in these saunas, it, when, you, when I breathed through my mouth, not my mouth, oh my God, I'm lying. When I breathed through my nose, it burned. That's how hot it was. And I just don't know how someone could enjoy that. Like, I've been in saunas where I'm like, oh, this is nice. But like these, if you're someone who likes to be super hot, go off. Do it. Do it. Go off. Because I, I, I don't know. To each his own. You, you know how to live the full spa experience. Me, I don't know, I'm here for the aesthetics. I'm, I'm gonna go in there for a little bit. Oh, look, my pad thai and my beef. I requested the beef on the side. That's another rosé. I had no idea that they weren't gonna uh, moisten the beef if I ordered it on the side, so. Ah, that's about it. I'm gonna. I'm about to start talking some more, so sorry. I didn't realize that they closed at eight o'clock today. It's Sunday, I'm thinking it's nine o'clock and it's already, I think 7.33 right now. Lady even walked past and was like, are you Maria? I'm like, yeah. She's like, I'm just making sure you're still around. I'm like, no, she, she making sure I know it's time to get out, basically. <laughs> so I felt like the experience was really nice. The, um, the jacuzzi was really small. They don't have a pool. They only have a jacuzzi, a cold water plunge, as I'm sure you'll see in the videos. I don't know which order. I'm chopping videos um but i think it was really nice for the amount of people that were here today i think it was sufficient um if you go on a busier day maybe like saturday it probably would be a problem but i en i enjoyed my time my massage i got a 50 minute swedish massage because i'm cheap and that was the cheapest one um i think it was 140 or 149 something like that I think she did an okay job she it wasn't like one of the best massages that I've had but it was enough to say I enjoyed it they um, also added like hot towels on like your back after she does your massage and stuff then she put like a hot towel on your back which I thought was a nice touch I was trying to decide between hot stone massage and Swedish so I think the hot towel was a, a good in-betweener for me. She also put the hot towel on my feet 
thought that was nice. What I didn't like, and this is gonna sound really sketchy, but she didn't massage my butt. <laughs> like, I know that sounds weird, but like I exercise, so I get a lot of soreness in my glutes. So like I like for people to, you know, kind of work it out. You know, you go to the Asian, the Asian spas, they're not afraid to get, she's, she's all up in there like that, like that for me. But I thought it was nice. She was being, I think mean, she was being respectful. She wasn't sure how um, comfortable I was, maybe. The saunas, oh, the saunas are crazy. Freaking hot. It's really hot. Um, so they were nice. Here. They were empty, they got the job done. There were, I feel like I'm so out of breath. I'm sorry, I'm trying to rush because I hate to be that person. Um, the saunas were really nice. The steam room smelled so good. So freaking good. I was like, okay, body Brooklyn. I can't remember what else. Oh, the lounge area was my favorite. I went to World Spa. Um, back in March and it was really nice don't get it wrong it was beautiful but I felt like they should have had a dry lounge there was like a small area where you could sit but I think you had to rent it it was like cabanas which I feel like was too much it was ridiculous because there weren't even enough people there to reserve so it, it was just an empty space but anyway they had a nice dry lounge here when I came in I had um, just an appetizer uh, calamari with Thai chili sauce, that was pretty good. Um, and I had a rosé. And, I don't know if you remember the story that I just told you about the girl who was me, 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 at the front desk. The guy, he um, put both my rosés on the house uh, because of that interaction. I'm like, it's not your fault. He's like, I know it's not my fault, but I'm just thinking it's a nice thing to do. I'm telling you, go places by yourself feel bad for you. They feel bad for you and they give you free Then, after I did the massage and the wet lounge and stuff, I had my had pad thai for the first time. So, I thought it was really good. It was like a, there's a peanut flavor in it. I thought it was pretty good. I asked for the beef on the side. I didn't know the beef wasn't going to be seasoned. They were like, no, there's enough seasoning in the pad thai. So, so we're, we're not seasoned. Um, 